The European Central Bank and the Euro has been on the news also very importantly. The topic of this session had the limitations of monetary policy. Is that it had attracted a great deal of attention since the beginning of the financial crisis. Circumstances have forced all major central banks to resort to instruments and policies carefully tailored to the unusual situation. Who will present their views on the issue in a few minutes and are among prominent academics by tomorrow? We'll have to take a look at that during the ECB presentation. The current situation of the Euro era about the perspective at the ECB on today's topic and about longer term issues for the Euro era in terms of the current situation, the Euro era economy is still in a phase of adjustment. The real GDP fell by 0.6% in the fourth quarter of 2012. Output has the decline six consecutive quarters. Labor market conditions remain weak and public and private sector balance sheet adjustments continue to weigh on the economic activity. Unacceptably high levels of unemployment, particularly youth unemployment, and the prime concern of economic policy makers. Recent survey data suggests some improvements, but from low levels, export growth should benefit from a recovery in global demand. Domestic demand should also be supported by accommodating monetary policy by the recent real income gains from lower oil prices and lower inflation by the confidence of wealth effects stemming from the improvements in financial markets since last summer. Banks in stressed countries have been able to regain access to interbank and capital markets and they have raised funds as well as capital. Larger corporations have benefited from these lower borrowing costs in capital markets and small and medium-sized enterprises have seen borrowing costs from banks somewhat reduced. All of this should support investments. One reason why inflation expectations have remain broadly stable is that the ECB and other central banks around the world have prevented the materialization of deflation risk by adopting both standard and non-standard measures as when necessary. In the Eurozone, one such non-standard measure was the introduction of the outright monetary transactions, OMTs, programs, last year and stabilizing the effects of which are widely recognized.